welcome back to my channel. So today has been a super busy day. I've been running around doing a lot of different things and one of the things I had to tackle today was getting some groceries and doing a meal plan. It's been a very long time since I've done a grocery haul style video or a video dedicated just to a grocery haul and a meal plan, but I thought I would go ahead and do that. I know you guys have been loving my meal prep videos, which by the way, I will leave the playlist for that below. I do a lot of meal prepping and things for the freezer, but for the most part, I do cook our meals. They don't come out of the freezer generally. So a lot of those other things are for like lunchtime and breakfast. So I thought I would go ahead and fill you in on like a week of dinners and what I would normally make every evening. I do a lot of my grocery shopping at Aldi. If you guys aren't familiar with that, they just have some really great prices on groceries and almost at a discount compared to most grocery stores. So I can stay in budget and still get quality items that work with the recipes that I wanna make. I tried to group things together here on the counter before I have to put everything in the refrigerator and where it all goes, but I tried to group everything into kind of like the meals. Some of the things I already have either in my pantry or in my refrigerator, which I will get to that in a second. And um, other than that, I'm gonna go through and just tell you each meal and then I will show you on my tablet what I have written out for the week. All right, so these things here are for doing tacos. We do tacos pretty much once a week and a pack of tacos like this will last us a good while. I just store them in the refrigerator so that they don't go bad in the pantry. They tend to last longer doing that. Sometimes I even get a bigger pack at Walmart. They make even bigger packs. And what we do is put a little bit of olive oil in the pan and then we kind of fry each side just to give them that little extra crunch and flavor. They're really delicious that way. Then I just fry up some ground beef. I add in a little salt, pepper, chili powder, and cumin. And just very simple, nothing crazy. I prefer to kind of make my own seasoning on my beef instead of buying the taco meat packets just because they have a lot of additives that you don't really need to make the meat taste really good. So I obviously got some lettuce for that. We really love avocado in that. I have sour cream already and salsa already, so I didn't need to pick that up this week. And then ranch is something else that both my husband and my daughters enjoy on their tacos. The next meal I have planned, which I'm going to use some of this beef for the tacos and for this, is to do cheeseburgers. I'm also going to dice up some sweet potatoes and roast them in the oven along with Brussels sprouts. I just cut them in half and I toss them. I put them in a Ziploc bag, toss them in there with some olive oil and even maybe some onions. Same with the sweet potatoes. I just toss them all up and then I can put these on the same pan and roast them in the oven around 400 for, oh, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, just depending on how hot your oven actually gets. The next meal is going to be a roast, and I actually have that in the freezer. Um, I, we got a few roasts from my in-laws, so that's been great being able to pull those out. Sometimes I do get roasts from Aldi. They do have great roasts. We like theirs a lot, and I do chuck roasts generally. And then along with that, I'm gonna be putting carrots into my slow cooker with a stick of butter and a few seasonings. I actually originally found the recipe recipe for doing a roast with butter on Pinterest so I will link that recipe below and you guys can follow that if you want exact measurements at this point I kind of just throw in whatever I think and then with that I like to do mashed cauliflower and I actually just put in some salt pepper butter and then a little bit of sour cream blend it all up and it makes it really like creamy mashed potatoes but with a lot less carbs I'm also planning to do Alfredo you guys know that we eat mostly gluten-free my husband has a gluten sensitivity so I tend to try to do that so I got some of these gluten-free noodles Aldi has a lot of gluten-free options for really great prices so I appreciate that a lot so I got that and we're just gonna do this creamy Alfredo I'm going to mix in some broccoli and fry up these chicken tenderloins probably like cut them into little strips to mix in and then I will put it in a pan once I have all of that cooked up mixed together and then sprinkle it with this Parmesan and put it in the oven and just let it get a little bit brown on top. I just think that's so good and it's a great topping for Alfredo. This meal is something that's a little new to us at least in the last couple months. I've tried it out and we really 
enjoy it. So like I said, since we do a lot of gluten-free eating, salad wraps are, or lettuce wraps are definitely the way to go. What I do is I take this chicken breast and I mix it with some mayo, a little bit of mustard, I might put some black pepper in it, and then I dice up some avocado. I mix it all together to make a chicken salad and then we roll it up in the lettuce and it makes a great chicken salad wrap. So we'll do that and then another favorite of ours is to do some stuffed mushrooms. So this week I will just do Parmesan shredded with some cream cheese, put that into the mushrooms and bake it up until they're like pretty cooked through. Very simple side but also very healthy and then we'll do some peas with some butter along with these things for this meal. I'm going to actually show you my meal plan written out. I just wrote it out on a piece of paper but before I do that I'm going to put all of these things away or at least the things that need to go in the refrigerator. Since they've been sitting out a little bit I want to make sure that they get in there. put away I'm gonna go over the meals that I wrote down for this week so a lot of times I plan about five meals out just because generally we end up eating leftovers or we end up ordering out at least once a week so um, five meals is kind of a good spot for me to be in even sometimes four meals works out good um, just for things like the roast beef we can take that shred it up and make sandwiches out of it for another meal and then of course just leftovers in general another thing I'll do and you'll see this on my list sometimes I do this sometimes I don't but but sometimes I don't actually label them as the day like Wednesday we're having this and Tuesday we're having this because it just helps me out to have a list of just numbers like five meals then in the morning whenever I'm getting ready for the day I can kind of figure out what I want to make and if I need to pull anything out of the freezer it doesn't have to be specific to that day I can just kind of make whatever I feel like making out of the list. Meal one is beef tacos uh, we like to do avocado salsa sour cream and lettuce Sorry if you hear something in the background. My husband is using a saw in the garage, so you might be hearing that going on. And meal number two is cheeseburgers, diced, roasted, sweet potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. We'll probably also wrap these in lettuce instead of doing like a bread or something like that. Number three is going to be the roast with carrots and mashed cauliflower. Number four is chicken alfredo with broccoli. Number five is chicken salad, lettuce wraps, peas, and stuffed mushrooms. And one other thing I will let you guys with is if you have a pressure cooker or an Instapot, making mashed cauliflower in there is the absolute best. I will leave a recipe from Pinterest below, but it's so easy and it also doesn't let a lot of water in the head of cauliflower, so it makes it so that the mashed cauliflower is a lot thicker. I hope this gave you guys some meal inspiration. I know that I get questions about what I like to make for dinner, and I thought it would be helpful to link as many of these recipes below as I can. Like I said, some of them I've kind of tweaked on my own or just kind of found my way of liking to make them. I know I enjoy these short quick videos for some nice meal inspiration especially when I'm sitting down to quickly write out my grocery list so maybe that's what you're doing right now and hopefully this helped you out. If you're new around here and this is your first video ever that you've watched of mine I hope that you hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.